An active investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol GLBS. That's Globus Maritime LTD. The chart we're looking at today is a five minute chart. Each candlestick on this chart representing five minutes of trading. This is an intraday chart showing us all the movement from today. And Globus Maritime made some huge moves, closing up 188% along with most of the other shipping companies in the industry running 100% or close to it. Some even pushing towards 200%. Other runners I'm talking about, of course, being EC, Sino, SHIP, DCIX, and DRIES. However, DRIES was halted pre-market, and due to it being a regulatory halt, it could be halted for days to come. It's really up in the air, and only speculation on when it will be unhalted due to that halt not being volatility. It is a regulatory halt, as I said, just to reiterate. Anyways, enough about that. Let's take a look at Globus Maritime LTT, GLBS. So GLBS gave us a perfect setup today for a breakout. I actually traded this one myself and made some great money on it. However, I didn't manage to hold through the halts. So let's take a look at where it really went off. So I was taking a look at it around this area here for a breakout. Surely enough, it did break out. I managed to snag about 15% profit on this one. Unfortunately, it Ended up running all the way to 23.6. I would have made about a 200% profit on this stock, but I wasn't really expecting it to go that high, honestly. My final price target was this pivot point up here, which was 13.32. And I ended up selling a little less than 11. And um, shortly after I sold, it ended up halting and gapping up multiple times before it ended up making that 23.6 high. So it definitely exceeded my expectations. And really, it was... There was nothing really that looked like it would run that high. It didn't really have a huge gap to fill. I mean, obviously it's been trending down with the rest of the shipping industry, but the shipping company that has a huge gap is actually ticker symbol SHIP, S-H-I-P. That has an enormous gap from when it fell down. So that one I could have seen gapping up like this, GLBS. I didn't see that coming, honestly, but I still made a good trade on it. It's a very solid trade. Let's take a look at the indicators that helped us find that stuff. So it was overbought here. Let's take a look at when it was overbought. And it fell down from overbought here after the gap up, incidentally. Immediately after the gap up, it went to oversold just about. The previous oversold point being here. The other, uh, where it went oversold over here, all the way up. So indicating a huge, massive uptrend. But how do we know the breakout was coming? Well, it went overbought on the R side, indicating the buying pressure was definitely stacking up. It was testing some areas of resistance and breaking through them. And then our moving averages. We have the purple cross above the green here. But keep in mind, this is the five minute chart on a morning day level. On the one minute chart, we had these crosses occurring a few times on the way up. So we had that cross occurring right around here at a breakout level on the five minute chart. It was already overbought and already crossed. So we had merit on the longer term charts as well. And really the level two and the time in sales, basically what we call the tape, was looking very bullish as well. So it was a perfect breakout. Sure enough, like I said though, I ended up taking my profits off the table fairly soon. You know, I was happy with the profits I made and they came within a few minutes. And uh, yeah, sure enough, it did end up running all the way to 23.6. So I'm a little sad about that, but at the same time, that's life. We can't always make the perfect trade. And I did actually make more money trading ship today as well. So it's not the end of the world. I'm happy that I ended very much in the green today. A lot of money was made, but overall, the trend never came back that hard for GLBS. If we draw a downtrending line here, whoa, that's not what I wanted. If we draw a downtrending line here and we connect it to our topper, our higher candles, we did end up pushing and testing this trend line here, but we never really ended up breaking out from it. And then over here, we did break out a little bit, but fell right back down. A lot of uh, selling pressure there, bringing us down to 50 period moving average. We did break out of it here, and this is where we actually had an opportunity to break out once again. So we pushed up above the trend line and we formed a bullish flag, but it was still pretty weak. The averages converging, 50 period average moving up. The volume is really what was lacking here. The volume was super low and really the rest of the shipping industry also fell off. So if there was another chance to break out though, this would have been the area for that breakout to occur. Unfortunately, yeah, it didn't happen. It uh, broke here and then sold off, bounced off the 50 SMA, came back around and then, yeah, we never had another breakout really. The other place you could have traded is if you're bottom buying here and then selling into the end of day push. But that's a much more risky play. The best place to get in is where I mentioned earlier, where I got in, but obviously holding a little longer would have been good. But you never know how these things are gonna work out. It was it was uh, gapping up and halted about three times. So it easily could have gapped down like it did here. It gapped down from 23.6 to 16. Now remember, when there's a buyer, there's a seller and vice versa. So people were buying up here on this candle between 18 and 23. 
these people got burned pretty hard and never came back that high. So yeah, I'm glad I made the money. It could have been a lot more, but at the same time, I'm glad I wasn't one of the people that bought up here and ended up taking enormous loss on this trade because that was a very real prospect and it was a very real, um, it was a very real moment for some other people. Forgot the exact word I was looking for, but you guys understand what I'm saying. Anyways, that's how GLBS went down today. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and please stay tuned for more content like this. Catch you then.